I'm going to tell you about everything I learned in my NYU class. And now for starters, in my number theory class, I learned about Bayeux's lemma, which states that the greatest common denominator of two numbers, A and B, or two integers, A and B, can be expressed as the sum of an integer multiple of A and an integer multiple of B. So, I also had a very fun activity today where we learned about a little bit of game theory and optimal strategies for different games such as, well, uh, for different great games such as a game where you had to pick little cards uh, until you get 15 with the cards numbered 1 through 9. Not exactly sure what it was called, but yeah. And also, we had a small riddle about uh, that was very clever. I think I've seen a variation of it before. A variation of it was discussed in a, a pretty cool TED Ed riddle, but uh, it was basically stated like this. Uh, so John sees a friend that he hasn't seen in a long time, and John knows that this friend has three daughters, but he doesn't know how old they are. So uh, his friend tells him uh, the product of their ages is 36, and the sum of their ages is your house number. And John says, but well, I can't uh, figure it out with those two pieces of info alone. And then his friend says, you're right, the eldest daughter plays violin. Uh, how old are the three daughters? And it turns out that the correct answer is actually 2, 2, and 9. Uh, because 2, 2, and 9 uh, shares a sum with 1, 6, and 6. 1, 6, and 6, and 2, 9, and 9 are uh, both sum to the same number, 13, and both multiply to 36. And you might ask, why do they have to sum to the same thing? Well, because if they didn't sum to the same thing, John would know their ages uh, as soon as his friend gave them those two pieces of info. But he didn't, because there were two ways that a number, uh, three numbers could multiply to 36 and also add to his house number, which is 13. So the uh, distinction that the eldest daughter played violin implies that there is an eldest daughter. In the arrangement 1, 6, and 6, there is no eldest daughter because the two eldest daughters are the same age. But with 2, 2, and 9, there is one eldest daughter, the 9-year-old. So, that's it. I thank you everybody for watching. Oh yeah, I also took the interview of Dr. Pavan Pillai. It was a great experience. If you don't know, he was my instructor at the NY Mass Circle at Columbia University. Uh, and I really enjoyed uh, discussing with him about uh, his opinions on math and uh, his personal experiences at Oxford and NYU. So thank you everybody for watching and see you in the next one.